and today I'm going to be talking about the King Woman series, um, basically giving sort of a review on it. And um, so King Woman is a series on YouTube by Accelerate TV and it is a, basically an interview based series by Kemi Aditiva which talks about the stories of some Nigerian women. Now for me, it took me a while to watch all the episodes. Um, there are, I think, 12 episodes. Yeah, 12 episodes in total. And each and every one of them is amazing. They're a bit long, so they range from about 45 minutes to about 2 hours. Yes, yeah, so there's one that's 2 hours, 30 minutes, and that's the last one. The King Women series. So I just have to say, first of all, that it was an amazing, amazing thing to watch. Because it takes all the people we see, like, you know, frequently in music, on, in movies, on social media, and it takes us into their story, into their struggle. And it also makes us able to associate with them better and understand that, you know, everyone is a normal person. Everyone has different and significant struggles. And whatever you're struggling or you're going through, you're not doing it by yourself. It's very easy for us to look at people who are successful, quote unquote, and, um, think, oh, they just got there by magic. It just happened, like they've never faced any struggles in their lives, like they're just lucky, they just left, they just shall got there. But I feel like this series breaks down those barriers and it shows us that, you know, these king women, these amazing women we see on TV, you know, in so many different places, like event managers, like they have, they have significant struggles and they have significant stories. So the first one was um, Taiwo Ajayi Lyset. And it was an amazing and amazing story because, you know, she's a bit older than the rest of the King Women in this episode. So her story is very, very interesting. I think it shows her deep struggle, you know, with losing her husband, with also finding her identity and staying true to who she is, even on camera. There's also, the second one is by Tara Fela Dream And then it also tells her own story of finding her identity, her own story of her relationship with her parents in her home. Like I don't want to tell you guys the full story of everything but then I just want to give a brief overview of everything. And I feel that it's very important especially for people who are in not so conventional industries, you know, as Nigerian women, and sometimes it's difficult to convince your parents that you want to do what you want to do. So then we have um also there was Tiwa Bello and I feel like Tiwa Bello's episode was really amazing for me because she's someone I really look up to and it was amazing hearing her story from you know, her growing up, her finding faith, her having children, you know, all those things that we seem to overlook and just think, oh, this person is successful, this person is making money, this person is happy. But then it was very, very interesting to see her, you know, telling these stories that truly have made her the person she is today, but it was very difficult for her to go through and it's so difficult for her to look back on them. Then even um, Adeshua Onyekwe, um, her story was actually very unique and interesting as well. Then we have Fumi Victor Okibo, um, her story was very very nice. I feel like it was also a story of self-discovery and her struggling with her mother's death and things like that. Ayodeji Mebopwe was a very lovely story for me as well, especially because she's in the food service industry. And it just shows how, you know, you should, any skill that you have, any skill that you learn, you just have to capitalize on it. You never know when anything is going to help you. Especially that saying that says no knowledge is wasted, truly is the truth. You never know where the small things you learn on the side, the little things you know are going to help you save your life, save the life of your family. She Girl's episode for me was eye opening. Because you know, I feel like, this was very bad of me, but you know when, and even my mom said this when I told her that, oh, she Girl has a King Woman episode, I said, ah, is she girl a king woman? Is it true? Because we don't know their, their stories. I had watched her TED um, X video about how she became a comedian, you know, about her not really being academically inclined. But I knew, I knew nothing about her marriage. I knew nothing about even her struggle to make a niche for herself in this Nigerian world, you know, in this Niger in the Nigerian um, comedy space. So it was a very, very lovely episode for me. Honestly, Chi Girl's story is one of the best. Remita Bumu's story was amazing. I didn't even know much about her before I watched this um, this series, but her story, like, it seems like something out of a movie. 
Like to see somebody actually saying this is my story, this is what I went through for me was amazing. Because she went through a lot. I will encourage you especially to watch that video because she went through a lot. Her life wasn't easy and it also shows us the misconceptions you can have as children. Because she had some misconceptions about, you know, her mother and how her mother was and you know whether she was a nice person to her essentially. And as she grew up, she truly realized what happened. You know, you listen to her mother. And I feel like it was it's an amazing story. And it shows us that we all have our struggles. Then Jumoke Adino's story was an amazing one. I also did not know about her till I watched this video. And after this, I just kept watching more and more videos about her on YouTube. She's a very confident person. And I, when I was watching that video, I had to pause it. And I called on my friends and I was like, I can't keep watching this. Her confidence is intimidating me. Like, she doesn't seem like the kind of person who fakes confidence or who, like, her confidence came when she was already successful. No. She seems like the kind of person who she's always had this belief in herself from when she was younger. And you can see that it has made her the person who she is today. In every, from all her stories, I'm just like, wow, what a confident person. What a person who believes so much in themselves and what they can do. What a focused person. I mean, like some things that she said in that video have really challenged me. Because she talks about how during her internship, she used to like work overtime and things like that. Voluntarily. And she said why? She said because this is what she had chosen to do. Architecture was what she had chosen to do in her life. So how can somebody be forcing her to do it now that she has the opportunity? And for me, I was like, wow, okay. No one has forced me to do, like, study what I'm studying right now. But can I say the same about myself? Am I as driven? Am I as purposeful? And the last one was um, Kemi Adetiba's mother, herself, Mrs. or engineer Mrs. Mayan Adetiba. Her story was longer than the rest because obviously she had... Um, she would have felt more comfortable telling the story you know, with her daughter and things like that. But it was a very interesting story as well. The story also goes further to you know, how she raised her children, her relationship with her husband, her um, professional career. And it's very interesting because she's also a bit older than some of the other young women of this episode. So it takes us a bit like a generation back into what was happening in Nigeria before this time and how it was still very possible for women to carve their own niche in the industrial world. It was a very lovely story. So I'll say that in total, this whole King Woman series was an amazing idea. If you have never watched any of the episodes, start now. It might take you a while because they're a bit long. So, you know, sometimes I'll start watching this video, finish later, and things like that. But it is something that you need to watch. Wherever you come from, woman, man, girl, boy, whatever. It is a series that opens our eyes to the people behind, you know, the to the people behind the characters, the people behind the music. And it also helps us understand, you know, why they have such depth, why, why they are so multifaceted as people. So I really enjoyed this series, you know. I have to say, um, Kemi Adetiba did a really, really good job in bringing out the truth behind all these women and I learned so much from watching it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope if you haven't watched these videos it inspires you to go and watch them because they are amazing. Um, I think this King Woman series also speaks to every woman out there that the fact that you are a woman is not an excuse. It is instead a beautiful thing. You can achieve so much being a woman. Like so many of the barriers have been lifted and nothing that people say about you or say to you can stop you. Many of these women were in predominantly men and um, predominantly male industries and they succeeded anyways. Many of these women were told things like they were not going to be able to achieve these their dreams. Many of these women faced unimaginable obstacles in achieving their dreams, but they still got them. So I think it's a real message that no matter what you are going through, no matter what you have been through, like you can achieve if you believe, if you're confident, and if you just keep chasing your goal relentlessly, you know that you can do what still you want to do. So thank you so much. Obviously, leave your comments about these videos in the comment section and let's have a discussion about it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll put the link to the King Women series from Accelerate TV in the description box. So thank you. Bye.